Okay, so just to give you a heads up with your task, your first assignment that we can mark, um, I've just got a dummy template here that I will pass on to you that you can just download off um, Daymap. So if you can see here, it's a 1, 2, 3, 4 by 5. So you've got 20 questions in all, 10 correct, 10 not correct. Um, if you open Daymap and you see the example of A type questions, B type questions, um, and C, it doesn't mean if to get an A you have to have all A questions. You can have maybe three um, and the rest made up of B or C or even two. Okay, same if you just don't want to try an A question, you can have the Bs. Um, if you have majority of those and mix it up with some Cs, then you'll be fine. Okay, um, and really, the, the boxes that have the correct questions, they should be pretty simple to do. I'm going to write the first one in just to show you. So I've, I've decided my path is here with this yellow um, route here. You could try a different one. You could go across the top, uh, down and then so on. You can finish at any point that you want. Hopefully around 10 questions correct, 10 questions that will be incorrect. Okay, so it's pretty simple. You can start off just by saying, you know, X plus 3 and we can go 2x take 7. You can pop your working on another sheet that you can attach and that we, we know that our answer will be x squared, okay, 2 times minus 7, sorry, x times minus 7 is minus 7x and then we get a plus 3 twos are 6, so minus 7, right, minus 7x plus 6x, that gives me minus x. All right, and then we have minus, sorry, positive 3 times minus 7, and that's minus 21. So hopefully you won't have the arrows drawn in there. And I'll show you how to do it typing in a moment. All right, and then you put another correct one here and so on. When you want to put a, an incorrect one, okay, so maybe we go x plus, you can pretty, keep it pretty simple and say x plus 5 squared. And you can say that the incorrect, so people won't go on that path, is x squared plus 25. So you then need to, on your own bit of paper, you need to write down why is that incorrect, okay? And you'd have to say it's incorrect because x plus 5 squared is actually x squared plus 10x plus 25. Okay, to make your life a little bit easier, what we can do is we will be systematic and we will refer to this. So this can be, um, this can be the A, oops, we can have that as row A or column A, column B, column C, column D. And then this is one, two, three, four, five. So when you're giving me, you don't have to give me the explanation for this one because that one's already right. But on the sheet of paper, you will say uh, for B1, so you'll write on your own sheet of paper, B1, okay, it was meant to be X plus 5 squared. Was it meant to be X squared plus 10X? And you give me the correct expansion. Okay. So that's on separate paper. And then you have to do one for C1. D1. You just put the correct ones there. All right. You will also need to make sure that you've got a blank copy. So you'll say this is the correct. You can show me that the, the highlighted path and I'll check that they're correct. And then you'll have the blank copy that's got not the highlighted path so people won't be able to um, do it. And we can have a bit of a play, see who gets them right and who gets them wrong. Now, if you want to um, not handwrite them in, if you want to do it using your tools via your Word document, let's just click in here and we'll show you how to do that. Right? Remember we go to Insert and we go over here to Equation and we can use our keyboard to just put our bracket in and then it's X plus 5. All right, and I'm going to put another one. Let's go X take 4. And we press enter. We go again, insert equation. Now, if you want to get the x squared, see this little one here, e to the x, we press that. And this comes up. 
and I just click in and I fill in I go x squared like that and then I can say well that will end up being x times minus 4 is minus 4x but then I get a plus 5x so minus 4 plus 5 is 1x and 5 times minus 4 is 20 and there we have it. If you'd like this to be centered in your cell my recommendation is that you highlight all the cells I'm just going to do this one first but you would highlight the whole table you right click Actually, someone taught us in class the other day. Thanks for that. We right see here this little tab. We can right click there and it says table properties. And if we say table properties and go to cell, then we center it. And you can see that that now sits flush in the middle. If you wanted to put a little uh, space in between, oh, you could put another one. There you go. I think I like it with one. Now the whole formatting thing is not the key here, the key is the mathematics. So if you would prefer to print it off and write your answers in, that is fine also. So if you check on day map, I will have a um, blank one of these if you would like to use it, that's more than fine. hope that assists you.